Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is what level of intimacy do you want? This is something to understand. It is, it is a very simple thing. You can relate to women in your life, to one specific partner in different ways. <coughs> you can engage with different levels of intimacy. For instance, you can have a person who comes into your life that is going to just become a friend or somebody with who you might be flirting, right? That's the second level. Somebody with who you feel play and sensuality but you are not engaging sexually. There might be even physical touch. You can call that sensual flirting. And then there might be some, some woman who comes into your life with who you want something that goes deeper. You fantasize about being naked with her. You fantasize about, <coughs> you know, being in uh, intimacy spaces together. But still you go like, yeah, not comfortable with having intercourse or having sex. And so then there might be another situation where you go like, wow, with that person I really feel turned on. I really want to have sex with that person. And then there might be somebody with who you have sex and with who you want to keep on dating. You really want to connect on a deeper level. And then that, that connection might turn into a committed relationship. So all these degrees of intimacy and connection and attraction that you might have, it's very, very, very powerful and very good to keep them in mind. Because you will notice that when you meet somebody new, you meet this new person, you realize, Wow, I'm actually really comfortable with having sex with you, but I don't want to have a relationship with you. I want to keep it really casual, light, and free. Because I don't want to be sexually exclusive with you. Or you might be engaging with that person and you go like, I feel that we connect in a sensual space really well, but I don't really feel sexually attracted to you. And so what tends to happen very often is that you are going to force yourself into a sexual exchange with somebody with who there isn't actually the chemistry. It's almost like a conditioning, like a pattern. You go like, that's what's supposed to be happening. So you engage and then you might regret it and then you run away from that person because you have a feeling that you, tap, you took one step too far. And so don't do that. Just observe with that person what is the degree of intimacy that you want to have with them. And then stick to that, you know, stay within that range. And then, for instance, you might engage into some light sensual exchange. You know, the person, that woman might stay overnight with you. You might sleep into each other's arms. It might be beautiful. It might be juicy. And then the following day, you go like, that's all there is. There isn't really a desire to dive deeper. Or maybe there is. Maybe you stay in the, you know, in the sensual space for a while and then you notice that it's evolving to something that becomes much more passionate and sexual. And so don't think that when you are dating it has to look a certain way. The fact that you go on a date with a woman doesn't mean that you have to have sex with her. Even if she's maybe pushy, even if she's demanding, even if she's like really inviting you into this space, you go like, I'm not getting a green light right now. Is it okay if we just stay within the sensual space? Um, you might say, well, I'm still in the breakup zone, I'm still digesting my connection with my ex. Or you might, you don't even need to give an excuse. And uh, how she responds to that, you know, some women might get a little bit offended or rejected, especially if they are really into you and they want sex. You go like, how they respond to it is res their responsibility. It is your right to say no to a woman. It is your right to say, I'm not feeling it. I want to keep you as a friend or I want to keep you as an intimate friend. And you don't have to be harsh, you know, sometimes deviating that means like if she approaches to kiss you, you can be like, mm -hmm. come here, you know, and, and you, don't, you don't engage from a, a place or a space of intimacy that you don't want to have in your life right now with that specific person. So watch out for these different degrees of intimacy and be conscious and aware of how deep you are going with one specific person.